Hi everybody, so today I just have one problem for you. We're going to do a bridge problem that involves an ellipse. A bridge is built in the shape of a semi-ellipsical arch. The arch has a span of 120 feet and a maximum height of 25 feet. Find the height of the arch at a distance of 5, 15, 25, and 50 feet from the center. So to kind of help us out, let's just draw a quick little sketch of what's going on. So I have this span that's 120. I have a height that's 25. So it would help if we put this on a coordinate system. And when I do that, I want to center it at the origin. So that'll help, like just make it a lot easier. So when I look at the 20, I think divide that into, two, so it'll go 60 to the right, 60 to the left. And then the height, that'll be 25. And then we're just kind of connecting those. So when I look at that, the 60 being bigger than 25, that's gonna be A. And then the 25, that will be B. So when I'm looking at the equation of my ellipse, which is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals one, I know a is 60 and I know b is 25. So I'm gonna write that in, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the 60 and the 25 for now, and then I'll just square that so we have better numbers. So we have x squared over 3600, and then we have y squared over 625, and that's equal to one. So here is the equation. To make it a semi-ellipse, um, there's a couple things that we can do. So one thing we could do is we could restrict the y. We could just say that the y is only positive. I could say y is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 25. So that's one way we could do a restriction to get the semi-ellipse. Another thing we could do is we could solve this for y. So that would look like y squared over 625 is equal to 1 minus x squared over 3600. Then you could multiply by 625, so that would say y squared is 625 minus 625 over 3600. And then I could take the square root. Now when I take the square root, I only want the positive part, so I'm not going to put plus or minus. I'm going to say y is equal to the square root of 625 minus 625, I look like I dropped my x squared, let's put the x squared back in, over 3600. Um, so let me show you that, like let me put that in the TI-84 calculator so you can see that that gives me a semi-ellipse when I put it in, I can also show you that in Desmos. So here I am in the TI and I'm going to graph um, the square root. And remember we said it was 625 minus 625, and that would be x squared, divided by 3600. Now to get a good picture of that, I do need to look at my window and make sure my window is big enough. So right now I see my window goes from negative 10 to 10, not big enough. We said it's going to go from negative 60 to 60. Since I want you to see the whole thing, um, why don't I make it go like from negative 65 to 65? The scale, I don't want to go by ones, let's go by fives. And then um, for the minimum, just to show you that it's only producing the positive part, I do want to show you negative five or something so you can see under the axis. 30 is going to go above 25, which we said is the tallest, so that's good. Uh, scaling it by two, that sounds good to me too, so I'm going to hit graph. Great. Um, the part where it's not touching, and the, that's just like how the TI works. There's nothing wrong with this. It's just how it's graphing it. I don't think it gives as good a picture as we would probably like to get. So let's also take a look at Desmos to see what that would look like. So in Desmos, I'm graphing y equals the square root of 625 minus 625 x squared divided by 3600 and again we kind of need the window to come in so you can see much better that it's actually hitting the x-axis there um, let me show you that I could have just started this way though of saying x squared over 3600 plus y squared divided by 625 equals 1 and now at first it's showing the whole ellipse 
So how I would make it do only the semi-ellipse is to give it the restriction that we talked about, zero, being less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 25. And then you'll see these two are on top of each other. So the purple, when I turn it off, there's the green. Um, so this way I have the semi-ellipse. So if you only want to see half of it, you just tell it the restriction to make. So notice they both do the same thing. It's just a matter of what kind of technology you have available or you're allowed to use. So a lot trickier if you have to use like a regular graphing calculator, a lot easier if you have something that will let you just plug in the equation and it will graph. So now we know what it looks like. I want to do this second part that talks about find the height of the arch at a distance of 5, 15, 25, and 50 feet from the center. At least the first time, I'm going to do it the long way so you can see how you would do this by hand, do it algebraically, and then I'll go over and show you a shortcut in Desmos. So remember, I have x squared over 3600 plus y squared over 625 is equal to 1. So we said, let's, let's do like the first one, which is 5. Notice because it's a width, like I'm going to find the height, that's an x value. So the x will be 5. So I'm going to put in 5 squared over 3600 plus y squared, so we don't know y, over 625. This is going to be 1. So I'm just solving for y now. So I would move the 5 squared over 3600 to the right. So I'm going to have y squared over 625 equals 1 minus, let's go ahead and square 5, make it 625 over 3600. Um, let's kind of make this a little prettier, 1 minus 25 over 3600. I'm just going to say this is 3575 over 3600. All I did was make the 1 3600 over 3600, and then I subtracted 25 from that. I know you can reduce this, but I'm not really worried about it right now. So I have y squared over 625 equals 3,575 over 3,600. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 625. So this cancels. I get y squared. Um, then I'm going to multiply. Um, and then I had my calculator just do this for me. So I got 89,375 over 144. So I had it do the multiplication and then do the reducing of the fraction. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and it gives me 24.91. Um, I did round that, but that's okay. I don't do plus or minus because it's an arch. It's only going height as up, so this would be the feet. So we would kind of like do this over and over again if we wanted to find, find our answer. It really should remind you of what I did on the previous slide, which was like get to this y equals. So you could just use that over and over. And you could plug in 5, plug in 15, plug in 25, plug in 50, and that'll give you the height at the different points on the ellipse. But we've talked about before, like, I could go to Desmos and have it do it for me. So I'm going to make a little list that has all the values I want. So I want 5, I want 15, I want 25, and I want 50. Then I'm going to tell Desmos that in the semi-ellipse, I am going to have a squared over 3600. That way it'll put in those values and then plus y squared. So it'll find the y values. That'll be over 625 um, and that's equal to one. So we see that going in. Now it's giving the duplicate because I didn't tell it to do the zero is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 25. So we could put that in there just to kind of like get rid of some of the extras. And then we can just go through the points and we can see what happens. So 50 is 13.82, I'm going to call it. And then the next one says 25 is 22.73. I'll show you that they're on both sides. So you could do the negative or the positive. They'll be the same. And then the next one at 15, it was 24.21. At 5, it was 24.91 which is what we got when we did it too. So we got our four numbers, which were the four heights that we wanted to get. So we have at five feet, the height will be 24.91. At a height of 15 feet, the height will be 24.21. At 25 feet, it's going to be 22.73. And then at 50 feet, it'll be 13.82. 
I like that this shows us how it's coming from this height of 25 and it's gradually going down as it's headed toward the ground. So we're not expecting it to make big jumps, right? We see it starts 25, it's still close to 2491, still close to 2421, but at 50 feet it's getting a lot closer to the ground, so we have this like gradual transition.